Gaffer, brilliant 3-1 win today at home. What are your thoughts on the game? Uh, tough game. Good to see everybody come COVID-free. Um, I think every team, will, you know, they're happy to get through the next couple of fixtures because you could see at the end of it there were some of the lads that was absolutely dead on their feet. Um, and you know, we, I think we had 19 affected COVID two, three weeks ago, and that's the staff as well. But to come through that, you know, I would have thought a couple of months ago we might have lost it. Because they didn't settle, you know, we, we knew they are a good side, they wouldn't stop coming at you. So we had to be at our best, and today, you know, we got the goals. And, and more importantly, I, I think it's just that every player's touch wood has come off, and uh, they seem to be, you know, breathing well and all that sort of thing, because it is a little bit worrying, because you don't know how, how some people will react to it. It was a really high intensity start to the game. How impressed with, were you with the amount of chances that we created today? No, that's what we've got to do. It wasn't impressive at all. I'd be impressed if we put them away. Um, you can create all you want. It takes another little bit of something going wrong up the other end and we'll, you know, they score. But no, we, we you know, that's us. We've got, we've got to put them away. Um, we've got three away, you know what I mean? It's, I think some of the people that are watching it are getting a very little bit... We win 3 0, you beat Orient, and people are still, oh, what are we doing or what are we ain't doing. It's, you know, let's just have a little reality check now and again, eh? A brace for Nadders, two of his head. Have you ever seen that before in training? I've never seen him win an header before. Um, no, listen, Nadders had his critics, um, and it's all about pace, it's all about this, but it shows you now that he's also got a quick head by the look of it. Um, but let's just hope he builds on that. I think everybody, you know, everybody, as I keep saying, it was a team performance today. No one outstanding, it was just everybody was outstanding because they worked as a team and stuck together, dragged each other through the game. And Quezzi and Nico got the assists for Nadis' goals. They look like a really crafty trio up top. Crafty, yeah, very crafty. crafty yeah. Um, yeah, well, that, you know, it's difficult when you've got the players available. As I've said all along, if we, have a, if we get the players that we've got fit, ready to go, we, we'll, we'll give anyone a game. If you're struggling and you're feeling it's credit to the boys that are coming in, and trying to nick a shirt and stay in the team. Um, and that's all you can ask for. That's all you can ask for today. It would be nice to keep a clean sheet, but it, we didn't, so we're on to the next one now. And obviously we saw the fans back here for about, well, first time in about a month. It was brilliant to hear that noise again. It certainly was. It was brilliant to hear it at the end when you've won as well. Uh, but listen, the fans are the fans. They know what I think of them. And uh, everybody, everybody. But it was a bit like... Um, you could feel the relief, I think, when we won today for some reason. I don't know why, but... Yeah, we could have gone the other way, like I say, we've, uh, what's that, you know, it makes you laugh, all these people keep telling me stats and this, that and the other when you're losing, but when you win a couple, people tend to forget that, you know, you've won a couple and you, and what's that now, three or four on the trot, yeah. whatever it is, but people don't ask you that, do they, so you don't, just get on with it, because it's easy, isn't it? And once again, no surprise, some fantastic saves from Glenn Morris to keep it Kept in. us in the game again, that's what I'm saying, make no doubt about that, that's what I'm saying to you about a team game. We don't put them chances away if Glenn, you know, and Glenn's had to pull us out of the fire, so to speak. Um, and that's, that's why it's so important to be a team and to be solid. And when you call on people like Glenn to produce, they produce. Um, we've scored three goals, so you can't really slaughter the forwards, but we could have had seven or eight if we put our chances away. Thank you, Gaffer. No problem at all. Paulie, great win today. What's your reflection on that one? Yeah, um, I think it's a hard-fought win. Um, not always pretty at times. Um, but good to kind of put two wins together after a bit of a break we've had. Um, boys were clinical up top with the chances and that. 3 0 up, should have probably seen it out a little bit more comfortably, but um, that's just what happens. <laughs> anyway, I said to the gaffer, obviously, a lot, a lot of time out, but it was a really quick start today, lots of chances created too. Yeah, I think that's kind of how we have to play like, if we're going to be successful, um, regardless of having obviously time out and not training so much. And, um, probably a few of the lads feeling the kind of effects of, of COVID and whatever else. But um, yeah, we want to play on that front foot and kind of high intensity stuff, get the ball in play quickly, um, try and catch teams out of our pace up front as well. Um, and I think we've done that a lot today. Um, they didn't quite manage to kind of stand up to it. And then we was obviously 3 new up for a reason. Um, so yeah, we're pleased with how it went. Obviously due to injury and COVID, you've had your fair share of midfield partners, but how's that relationship with George in the middle? Yeah, good. Um, obviously, each each player brings something different to the table, same same way I would. But to be honest, it's, it's all the partnerships I think have worked fairly well. Um, been times obviously where I've played in wide positions and things like that. 
obviously prefer to play in the middle of the pitch. Uh, George likes to get on the front foot and get forward. Obviously he showed it with his, with his goal at Leighton Orient. He got an assist when he stepped in there against Walter as well, so he affects the game really well uh, going forward. And I get to kind of like sit off and maybe get on the ball a little bit more. Hopefully that will come, um, but at the moment I think we're just concentrating on getting the results. And obviously we've seen a bit of a shift in, in shape with the, with the wing backs. Has that positively impacted our game recently, do you think? I think so. I think sometimes, obviously, we played sort of 4-4-2 quite a lot um, and we were quite successful at it against, against certain teams. But sometimes you need that kind of little bit of a little bit of a spark, if you like, something a little bit different, something a little bit new, a new challenge kind of to kind of get your head around it. And, and uh, it, it kind of suits the players we've got at our disposal. So, um, yeah, it suited us as you've seen in the last couple of games. I suppose on a personal note, you must be gutted that your free kick didn't dip two inches lower than it did. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, I don't know. You need a little bit of luck. It's, it's a little bit frustrating. I sort of when the position you get in that position, you think to yourself, like, honestly, like in the past, I've had spells where I've scored a lot of a lot of free kicks and that, and you kind of think to yourself, yeah, I'm going to score guaranteed, and I probably actually ended up hitting it probably a bit too well, um, hit it with too much pace, and it didn't have the chance to come back down. So obviously caught the top of the bar, but at that point, I think we was probably three nil. Um, and we was quite comfortable at that point. Actually, that's the second time we scored three this season. Did it feel as if you know we could have maybe even scored more in that game? Yeah, probably. I think there's just little times when probably players can take a, an extra touch or probably get it in earlier. It's just that decision making. Um, that's the same as kind of your fitness and stuff like that. When you haven't played for a couple of weeks, that kind of takes a little bit of time to come back as well. So um, yeah, look, I, we probably could have been more clinical today, but to be three 0 up in a game, you can't really complain. It's been roughly a month since we had a home game. How good was it just hearing the voices of the, the home fans? Yeah, brilliant. I mean, they're always doing that behind that goal. No, no matter how you perform, really, they all try, always try and help us through it. But um, it does help when you're giving them something to cheer about. So um, them two things go hand in hand. Um, hopefully they enjoyed the performance, the first, obviously, game of 2022. Um, but yeah, it's, all, it's always good to, to have them here. And uh, the more we get here, the better.